Hi everybody, this morning, well whenever you're gonna see me, but this morning I figured I'd bring you along for me to show you what I'm doing. I um, am going to actually create a nice floral pot made of annuals um, that I'm gonna put on the front porch and on the back patio so I can enjoy it. I love sitting outside. I love hearing birds. So why not have a little beauty and, and prettiness out there? So what I found, because I've been looking for pots for a while, and I actually found this at Lowe's. It is so pretty. And it has the self-draining bottom. And what I did was I added, even though it's self-draining, I added some rocks at the bottom to kind of add for the drainage and a little liner because I'm a little OCD. I didn't want rocks to fall in the little drain hole. So what I, oh, what in the world? We're out in nature, this little grasshopper. So what I did was already, I bought uh, the two plus quarts of the annuals and they actually had a good deal where I live here at the Lowe's. So these were actually three for 12, which was great. I already took them out and I separated them. When you take them out of the soil, they're actually going to be very uh, tightly clumped together. So gently loosen to separate them into the individual flowers. This way, you can kind of create it and make it however you want it. Uh, what I think I'm going to do first, what you want to do first is fill your pot always halfway. And I have soil, but this is a pretty good blend. It looks like it has some peat moss and, and things in it. I don't think I want a moth in mine, okay. And I'm just going to kind of gather some of the loose soil that's already here because then it'll be less for me to have to kind of clean up also. I'm trying to get the parts without roots. I think that's about it. So for the remaining, what I have is uh, the miracle Grow potting mix, more blooms for more col color. Now. I like to repurpose things, so I found that just an old can is easier to scoop rather than my shovel for the beginning. So you're just going to fill your pot halfway, and that should be about good. So your design in your pot. So what? I like to do and typically what a lot of the um, ones that are already made in the store you want to have like a focal point in the center so I chose this which is called what is it called Celosia or Celosia or Celosia I don't know but we'll go with any of those you can make up your version and I'm going to kind of visually set it. I think I want this celosia or celosia in the middle. And I have some vinca as well. I have some white vinca. I have two left. And for what I, I did the first pot last night. So I've got a little few extra friends that are popping up out of the stuff. But for these quarts I got like at least four sometimes five out of each of these pots and I think I'm going to add the white ones around and I'm going to set aside some marigolds because I've got to add them around in my garden so I put the orange ones aside. I'm going to add in some of the yellow marigolds. These are good to plant next to your tomatoes. I'm sure you may know, but if you don't, 
and uh, it repels a lot of the insects as well. Let's see. And it doesn't have to be super full because these are going to start taking off and getting th more thick as you go along. You know what? I think I'm going to do this one a little different. And I am going to add the smaller Solotia. Solosia. And I'm going to just add take these two out and this is something you make it how you want to make it and this is why you kind of visually see how you want it because you can redo it before you actually add the remaining portion of the dirt so on this one and be gentle you might uh, these leaves are so fragile so kind of if you Kind of move them around from the root portion. And gently arrange because it's your thing. Do what you want to do. I think that's it. I believe this is how I want it. So you see? They're all nicely kind of arranged and gently placed. After you've kind of put them where you want them to go, you start filling in the remaining soil easily. This is where you may want to have to resort to your shovel. And just take your time, adding a little bit at a time so that you're not covering the leaves and you're allowing the roots to have enough soil to be able to hunker down into their new home and these annuals are um, pretty hardy I forgot what zone I'm in but I'm in North Carolina so I think the zone is like six or so don't quote me but these should last and they should get pretty full over the course of the next uh, three to four weeks and this will last a good portion where I am uh, into mid fall so this will be a nice visual focal point for us for good part of the seasons so I'm gonna still add I just love this pot um, you know getting good quality pots that you can kind of uh, change out and you know these are also pots that you can use for your herbs but for this one this will be annuals and kind of just give a light shake just to have that soil settle and that is pretty much it you dust off your pot quick and easy and you make an arrangement just like you want it I'll get that excess soil but you kind of just dust off your pot and there you have a beautiful arrangement more like you like it so that's it for today up on the video you will see a link for how to transplant a peace lily or an easter lily click on that also and i hope that you found this video helpful i hope that you will watch other videos that i have i love sharing information and i love to talk to you lastly for those who don't know or you never saw me before my name is lisa wigfall Thank you for watching. It is hot out here. I don't know why I turned the fan off, but this day, remember before you log off, like this video, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends, share it, 
and check out the other videos that I have. Until next time, remember to live, love, laugh, and most of all, smile and bye, and I'll see you next time.